Hey y'all, what's going on? It's Hunter Elliott, and this afternoon I'm here to talk to you about, well, lever guns. Specifically, Marlin Dark lever guns. Here on my left hand, or port side if you will, I have the Remington built Marlin that we did a review on a number of, a uh, couple years ago. Here on my right hand, or starboard side, is the still newish Ruger built Marlin 4570 dark series just for the record this rifle's in 3030 but these are the two iterations of the dark series from Remington and Ruger so I want you to know that I have the levers back and I've ensured the chambers are empty so we know these rifles are safe to talk about we're finishing the review on this new dark series in 4570 from Marlin and Let's talk about it. In my mind, the Dark Series is kind of the modernization of the lever gun. And while Remington did an okay job with adding the Picatinny rail and all, I, I don't think it was quite there yet. And now you see Ruger's iteration through Marlin. It's certainly a large step in the right direction. And let's kind of go over that. So we have a fiber reinforced polymer stock with a pretty nice recoil pad on it that is M-Lock compatible. And then you go to the handguard, and this is anodized aluminum, M-Lock compatible. And you compare that to the old laminated wood stocks of the earlier Remington built Marlin Dark Series, certainly more modern, certainly more weatherproof, and now you've got the ability to use M-Lock. You see what looks like probably the male end of a rivet, it ships with a cheat riser. And this particular cheat riser, it just kinda it, it kind of just snaps on here and I expect that's for you know when you add optics or whatever if you need to get a little bit more elevation then you got that option but I, I, I'll be honest with you I didn't like it so I used it a little bit and then I took it off and still got plenty of real estate here on the top Picatinny wise and wonderful sights you got a rear aperture sight that is adjustable for windage and elevation and the front sight here is, is a modern green fiber optic with a tritium outline. We're, we're starting to get more into some nice tactical stuff here. Now both rifles uh, were threaded sure, 11 16 by 24, which is the standard thread for 4570. However, the earlier dark rifle from Remington just had a thread protector on it. When you buy the Ruger built Marlin, it comes with a thread protector. Also, it comes with a nice brake, a functional brake. So you've got some options there, and I'm gonna be honest with you, when you're shooting that heavy 4570 like double tap, you're gonna appreciate a good brake and a recoil pad, because that stuff is heavy duty. The action's a little slicker. The trigger, it's, 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 it's better. You've got some take up, and it's breaking really clean at about five pounds with quite a bit of over travel. But for a lever gun, that's, that's understandable. Still better trigger than the old Remington built Marlins. Capacity on this rifle is five plus one. The barrel length is just over 16 inches. The weight is seven pounds. Overall length is 35 and a half inches. Length to pull is 13 and a half inches. MSRP is 1427, which I understand that's a little bit of money, but you know, Y'all, everything's gotten expensive, but this is a this is a pretty solid, well-built, well-done rifle. Now, throughout the review, I want to say we shot about 400 rounds through it. Through that, we run probably, we run the Liberty Suppressors Goliath a lot. Uh, but we also threaded on the Phoenix Weaponry's 4570 can. And um, as expected, accuracy was not affected. Of course, reliability wasn't affected other than just adding a little bit of weight and some noise suppression, the rifle didn't know the difference. And you know, that's one of the benefits of a manually operated rifle, like a lever gun. You're not overly concerned about being under gas to over gas to get correct function. And we talked more about that a while back. We talked about the lever gun as a self-defense, home defense rifle, and how applicable that is. And I'll, and I'll link to that video as well. Um, and I'll include that in the written article on rangehot.com about this particular rifle. But Accuracy wise, well, we shot it out at 100 yards. You know, it was grouping three, three and a half inches with iron sights, which I think is fine. 
uh, we did manage to uh, do a little do a little figure and get some dope on that 405 grain 4570 and we got it hitting a 300 yard 15 by 15 steel target which I thought was pretty cool so you know what 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 do you see this rifle as or what do I see this rifle as well I think it could fill in a lot of roles I really do I think for as far as home defense self-defense a lot of people are going to say the 4570 is pretty big medicine for that. They make some, some milder 4570s. Double Tap makes a 300 grain, you know, all copper hollow point that is not overly, overly warm. So you could certainly serve double duty as a hunting rifle. And then when you get to your hunting cabin, you know, just leaning in there, leaning in the corner and you've got a, a self-defense rifle, you're not having to bring multiple platforms with you. Um, speaking of hunting, with all the M-Lock accessories, you know, you could certainly outfit this rifle to do a number of different things as far as hunting-wise. I would see this going very well as hog hunting, uh, especially if you choose to suppress it. You know, we even talked about, you know, we developed a, a subsonic, a 430-grain, you know, hard cast lead bullet that's about 1,000 feet a second that is really quiet when you suppress it. Shh, we're shooting some subsonic. Do one off steel so you can hear how quiet it is. So you've got a lot of options with the 4570, and you've got a lot of options with this particular rifle. I mean, it's it's a still a lever gun, y'all. I mean, the manual of arms is the same. You've got your traditional cross bolt safety. It's just a hammer block. So if you're already familiar with it, there's none of the, the heart, the soul has been changed. It's just kind of been reskinned, if you will, with a lot of forward thinking of bringing the lever gun into today's, today's world. Now, I like this rifle. I really do. We had a lot of fun shooting it. Accuracy wise, reliability wise, I mean, of course, no problems with that. We didn't have any kind of misfeeds or malfunctions. And I'm sure, as like I said, we only shot about 400 rounds through it, but a lot of that was hot stuff. If there was something, if there was a flaw in the rifle, if there's a problem with it, I promise you we'd have shook it loose. But it's got all the same parts on it right now as it had when we pulled the thing out of the box. However, you'll recognize this as the Trapper. Okay, and this is, this is still the Ruger built Marlin, but this is the Trapper that we re reviewed a while back. Levers open, guns clear, safe direction. Now, I gotta be straight with you. I like this rifle better. And now, you listen to Chad, Chad says, Hunter, you're old and you're set in your ways and you're hard-headed. And that's exactly 100% true. But I think this rifle is more aesthetically pleasing. I just like the looks of it, I really do. I like the laminated wood stock. I think this is beautiful furniture. It's beautiful wood. I prefer this rifle aesthetically. I just like it better. My unfounded prejudice aside, the new Dark Series is probably a little more versatile. It's a little more, you have a, you have a lot more options of stuff you could do because simply of the M-Lock and the, the pick rail. you're looking for is cooler. Uh, it, there's, there's my producer, Chad, chiming in cooler and you know man i mean chad says cooler but they're both great rifles and here's the deal y'all other than the skin so to speak mechanically it's the same rifle you may or may not agree with me you may be like no this dark series is where it's at and if you do i can't argue with that because there's nothing wrong with it but there's a comment section below this video and let me know what you think. You know, what do you think about the more traditional lever guns or these modernized lever guns like this Dark Series? So if you're in the market for a lever gun, y'all, and you like Marlin, because Marlin is certainly a, a very American name, I would strongly urge you to, to go look and see what Ruger's doing with these rifles. Now, as always, y'all, there's going to be an article on rangehot.com. So if you feel like I glossed over something or I didn't yep. cover something enough, you know, before I get a lot of hate mail, 
check the check the, the written article, which I will link to in the description below. Let me know what you think about that. I would certainly appreciate that. Then then after that, if I'm if you find it lacking, let me know. Comment section below. I always appreciate feedback, good and bad, because all I'm trying to do, you know, is continue to make the videos and articles better so folks will keep coming back and checking us out at Range Hot. So anyway. That's about all I got, y'all. I want you to take care of yourselves and each other. I look forward to seeing you at the range.